Joseph, what's the number on Old Blue? That is 36-0806. Old Blue here is, well, old, hundreds of years old. Hence why it's such a big tree. When a tree gets that big, it's been through a lot. And because of that, they can help us learn about how the forests are doing overall. Which is why USU researchers have been studying about 30,000 different trees in Cedar Breaks for a decade. We're interested in how forests are changing, but because trees live much longer than we do, that's a very difficult task. We need to observe a lot of trees. On this, the Utah Forest Dynamics plot, the researchers have tagged each tree or shrub beginning when it's just a half inch in diameter. We visit them every year to make sure that they are still alive, see how they're doing, and if we find any that are dead, we run a mortality survey. I'm gonna say that this was a 50, which is suppression, followed by the 71, which is an unidentified beetle. A dead tree still provides value, however, especially when it falls, when it then creates new habitat for future trees, which is why they have to track those too. If there are some things dead and also down, down the ground, we have to map it so that we can understand more about the dead biomass distribution in this area. By keeping track of both live trees and dead, the researchers get a better picture of the forest health overall. So by understanding the current dynamics, we think we can predict the future of the forest. Knowing that future is important because these trees do a lot for us here in the West. If you're interested in water, the tree cover helps snow retention, how long snow sticks around on the landscape. And also if you're thinking about the air and if you're thinking about where does carbon go, trees are a big part of that. And this is all a part of an international effort to understand how the forests of the world are doing as well. And then we can collaborate with people from these other plots around the world and study broad scale patterns of how forests are changing in one part of the world and whether we see those changes in another part of the world as well.